What's up, what's up, what's up? Hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the basics of solar wiring. Last week, I showed you all the components we had on our system. Now, I'm gonna show you how all of those get connected together. Okay, solar wiring is absolutely confusing. Solar power in general, you know what? Just electricity in general is confusing. Um, even now, <laughs> I still am mind blown just by the amount of information that's out there on electricity and it's really hard if you don't have any formal training on it. That's why it took me so long to kind of educate myself just on the basics. And these videos are kind of gonna be designed for people who are just starting out and kind of want to get a basic grasp, a grasp of it these are the videos that I wish I would have had whenever I first started. So today we're going to talk about the wiring. Let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't done so already, make sure to check out last week's video right here or in the video description below. That's going to discuss all the solar components that we're connecting today. All of those components are linked together with lots and lots of wiring. All the wiring is there for is just to basically get electricity from point A to point B safely. All of the wiring I use in our system is copper stranded wire and that works out really well for our mobile application. Let's go ahead and start with the solar panels. This is the starting point for all of the wires in the entire system. As you learned from last week, the solar panels convert solar energy into DC power. Out of each panel you'll notice that there are two wires that come out. One of them is a positive, one of them is a negative. Those are straight from the manufacturer. I did not add those in, that's just how they come. Since each panel has two wires coming out of it, you might notice if you have more than just a single panel, you're going to have a lot of negative and a lot of positive wires. Because of that, you're going to need something called a combiner box. So what's a combiner box? That's a great question. Basically, a combiner box is designed to combine the wires of multiple panels into a single negative and a single positive output. Now that you have a single positive and a single negative wire, those get wired down to the input side of your charge controller. To continue that flow of energy, you need a single negative and a single positive wire on the output side of the MPPT charge controller. That's gonna be wired down to your batteries. So the positive wire goes to the positive side of the battery and the negative wire goes to the negative side of the battery. Awesome, now that you're at this point, you are actually storing power from the sun into your battery bank. How cool is that? Now that you got all this DC power stored in your batteries, you need to get it out of it so you can power your normal, standard AC appliances. To do that, what you need is you need a positive and a negative wire coming from your battery to your inverter. The inverter changes the electrical current from 12 volt direct current or DC power to 120 volt alternating current or AC power. This is the power that's used to power any standard household appliance. Alright, I wish I could say that was all I needed to tell you today, but there's one more thing I wanted to touch upon just basically, just so you know how our system is wired. We do have a ground wires coming from the solar array, coming from the charge controller, and also coming from the inverter. Those three things are all grounded to the chassis of the RV. It's kind of controversial, we looked it up, some people say to do it, some people say not to, but we wanted to show you how we did it. It's worked very well for us, and we think it's just a great extra precautionary thing you can do for your solar system. Now that you got that down, I'm gonna to touch a little bit on the battery monitor. Actually, no I'm not. It's just gonna complicate things a little bit more than I wanted to today, so make sure to be on the lookout for that video in the near future. Awesome, I think that covers it for the basics of solar wiring. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Also, comment, subscribe, share. We would really, really appreciate that. We can't thank you enough for your support and can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye guys. Can you go ahead and feed the wire up through the roof? Aye, aye, Captain, it's coming up. It's a tight, snug fit. <laughs> I still have about two and a half hands. Okay, that will be perfect. <laughs> Here I deal for a note. 